Hey guys, so we are going to work on Armstrong number. So these are numbers where, um, for example, we have nine is one digit, one nine raised to the power of one um, is equal to nine and have here 10. So we go through the digits. So if this is three digits. So we say one raised to the power of three plus five raised to the power of three plus three raised to the power of three. We'll add this number up. And if it's the same as one, five, three, then uh, it's an Armstrong number. Okay, so once you've read and understood that, go ahead and pull the work down. And now I'm going to open this up with my text editor. All right, so here we have, uh, um, five will return true, one, five, three will return true. So we are essentially returning true or false if the number is an Armstrong number or not. So the first thing I did was to look for how we can convert uh, a number, a number into a list of numbers. Okay, so let's experiment here. So we have 219, we can essentially convert that into a list of numbers, not a list of integers, not a list of strings, by doing this. So change this into a string and then convert it into uh, integer x. So that's what we get. So this here is where we convert it into a string so we can actually iterate over it. Without that, we we'll get object not iterable. All right, so that's the first thing um, I did. So with this, I can then loop through um, over them and uh, you know square root of them, etc. All right, so with that done, we can go ahead do the same with number. So my number, I am going to convert it to an integer finally. Okay, and I'll say for every x in uh, the string number. All right, so go ahead and convert that and save that in there. All right, so now I can loop through uh, using for loop over all the numbers. <clears throat> and then what I want to do is create a temporary folder results and append x raised to the power of the length of nums, numbers. All right, so the length basically gives us how many digits we have. So here's one digit two digits and here is three digits so raised to the power of three so that's what i'm doing here so x raised to the power of the number of digits all right so that temporary uh variable i'm going to create it there an empty list so all we now need to do is return uh return a sum of all the values in results check if it's equal to the number which would be true or false all right, so this sum is just another way of adding up values in a list. So if I had a list, say one, two, three, the sum will add them up and it will give us six, so one plus two plus three. So that is what this is doing. So if we've done it right, this should uh, solve the problem for us. So I check it out underscore test and that's there we go we have all greens so that's perfectly worked but i'm kind of tired of doing this temporary folder thing uh temporary variable so i looked into a more efficient way of doing this so on line two we could do this pretty much on one line but i can say uh return uh, and sum up at the same time now i would say uh for every x in num, okay, um, go ahead, take that x and raise it, raise it to the power of the length of nums, okay? So here I'm just going to uh, put a string, convert a number into string. We could do it on the same one line, but I just don't want to have a very long line there. So this is going to do that, right? And then I can check if the result of this is the same as number. That's exactly as what we did before with less code and easier to read even. And if we wanted, we could make this all in one line. 
All right, we could take the string and we could replace and put it in uh, nums. All right, but this works, is readable and is straight to the point. All right, so with that done, let's go ahead and submit our exercise. All right, so that's it. Okay, so I'm going to clear that and have a look. Complete our solution. Okay, let's um, view the community's work. Just pick one. So this is pretty much identical to what we've done. He's done it all in one line, adding the len and the string number there. Yep, that's fine. Check this out. So this is very similar to the old one we did. Uh, loops through each uh, number, changes it into a digit, and yep. So that's readable. Again, this is similar situation. Loop through the number, and then yep, and then returns true or false, depending on the number's length um, value. And again, this is very similar to the last one. So, you know, I'm happy with the solution and I've learned a few other people's way of doing things. So that's it guys for this one. Uh, in the next uh, video, we'll go ahead and solve uh, another problem. So that's it guys, see you in the next video.